Overseas tensions are rising between North and South Korea after both countries launched ballistic missiles within hours of each other. Seoul says it carried out its very first submarine launch ballistic missile test. Pyongyang says it launched two ballistic missiles into the sea just days after testing several cruise missiles. These latest tests are also sending a clear message to President Biden, who has refused to lift tough economic sanctions imposed on the North. Ramey Nascencio has the latest. North Korea's ballistic missiles today are a breach of U.N. resolutions, unlike the two new cruise missiles that the country fired over the weekend. The ones today arced nearly 40 miles above the Earth and flew about 500 miles east before landing in the Sea of Japan. That's also known as the East Sea, and that's according to South Korea's military. Pyongyang often fires off missiles when its leaders want to show their anger about something happening in the region, and they were likely watching talks in Tokyo today about the denuclearization of the Korean Peninsula. Special envoys from the United States, Japan, and South Korea all met today. And, you know, when someone's talking about you and you're not at the table, you're probably not going to be very happy about that either. On top of that, China's foreign ministry, Wang Yi, was in Seoul. Beijing has indicated that it's become harder and harder to rein in North Korea. China is the North's last biggest ally in the world. But today, it's not just about North Korea. It's also about South Korea. About three hours after Pyongyang fired off those missiles, Seoul tested its first ever SLBM, its submarine launch ballistic missile. It joins only several other countries that have that ability, and this, of course, ratchets up tensions in one of the most tense regions already in the world. South Korea appears to be flexing its military muscle to show it can be independent from the United States and to show that it can defend itself against its nuclear neighbor. Also, South Korea seems to be taking advantage of the end of a 40-year agreement with the U.S. that had limited the power and distance of Seoul. Missiles. Reaction has been the rhetoric that we usually see as well. Japan's Prime Minister Yoshihide Suga said the North's launches are outrageous and that they threaten the peace and stability of the region. South Korea's Defense Ministry said that its own SLBMs would augment its peacetime deterrence. And U.S. Indo-Pacific Command said that they are aware of those missiles and that North Korea's launches show just how destabilizing the regime is. Henry, Vlad? Ramey, thank you.